NATO agreed to a strategy to turn over security responsibilities to the Afghan National Security Forces over the course of the next two years. In fact, the effort is going to be to remove U.S. and NATO combat forces over the course of 2013. And the, really, the question is whether or not they're able to perform that, that task. And there's serious doubts. We have serious doubts. In fact, the Department of Defense has serious doubts if you read their reports carefully. There are several holes in the strategy. Uh, first, the Afghan National Security Forces clearly are not capable of independent action right now. Barely 7% of the military forces are judged by the Department of Defense itself of ca capable of independent action with advisors. None can operate without advisors. And in fact, if you look at the Ministry of Defense, about five of the elements and offices of the Ministry of Defense are considered to be so poorly run that they simply cannot perform their mission. And if you look at the Ministry of Interior, which is the police, about half of their offices are viewed as unable to fulfill their mission, period. The report is basically saying that the Afghan National Security Forces require a fundamental rebooting in terms of their capability to, for command and control, for logistics capabilities, for operating independently as a security force across the country. The government, both the Afghan government, and at least in the public presentations in Chicago, uh, U.S. and NATO uh, political leaders uh, overstated by many, many uh, percentages the capability of the Afghan National Security Forces. Remember, DOD just issued this report at the end of April in which it raised all of these questions about the Afghan National Security Forces. The best case scenario is for the government of Afghanistan and the NATO forces to work together on a far more limited set of objectives in terms of security, to place far more attention on increasing in the capability and quality of the troops that remain, and not focus so much on 352,000, many of whom, unfortunately, uh, have been engaging in attacks on allied forces. The issue is how do you get the strongest, most competent, but m perhaps smaller force that can carry out the security responsibility. But also remember, it's not just a security transition, it's a political transition. And so Afghanistan also has to move in the direction of electoral reforms and anti-corruption reforms.